Hey everyone, and welcome to another Diablo 2 Resurrected video. I'm so excited for this one, because I waited almost an entire season to bring you this video. I can only make this in season, and yeah. Since there was a reset now, this is non-season. And I can finally show you the final form of my Fury Druid. Some of you might have watched the Budget Fury Druid video. Um, yeah, that's this character, but with the good gear now. Running the helm, for those of you who don't know the helm, Obviously, it gives a buff, depending on which shape you form you are. Um, more about that when I talk about the skill tree. And yeah, the helm is just ridiculous, bro. Like, enough said. Um, mm. What I like to do is, for pre-buff, I equip treasury and stand in this flame. Thanks for the buff, I guess. <laughs> Lol. Oh, nice. <laughs> for the video. Of course, buff up demon limp. That's one of the ways to get an enchant or more, for, more attack rating. Pretty good. Always use it. So for Duriel, I decided to go a little bit ham on the attack rating to kill him faster. I had the choice between this or Atmos for amp damage proc. But I went with the attack rating. Hands of Honor here. The Helm. Of course, Botti. Uh, uh, damage for gloves, damage to demons. Two angelic rings. Uh, more attack speed here and go rider. I will not bother with the bear buff. I uh, really, I don't care, bro. Unless, well, if he stands right in front of the entrance, I will go for the bear buff. I will not go for the bear buff. Okay. Maul a monster real quick. Boom. Switch to CTA, more plus skills, swap to the wolf, swap back. Now we got 15k. Yeah, that's the right setup. Hello. Eighty-three percent hit rating. Well, Merc is doing all right, I think. For Andariel, there's Uber, or rather Lilith, Uber Lilith, there's a really cool ring, uh, Carry on Wind. Gives defense versus missile, there's a, there are plenty of archers in this area, lifesteal, always nice, and uh, twist on striking to stun those archers, preferably, and a lot of poison resist. Even though, like, all this stuff is overrated, right? Um, you don't even need so much poison resist, but that's a really good ring against Uber Lilith. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Mm, at this point, I would swap to Dracuis because I get scared. Okay. And also, they cast amp damage, and I have a bone break here. Let's go! Um, of course, I have Enigma here, but I cannot teleport in the werewolf form. Um, that's too much of a headache, right? So damage and the attack rating here. 6k life. Nice for the video, I guess. Merc says bye bye here. Oof.
Mm, for Israel, I just swap to my gear, which I'm going to use against Mephisto in a minute. Ravenfrost, Wisp, Egots, Alrods. Yeah. Rest is the same. So I'm fully buffed up now. Got the organ set here. Kim Mephisto. Usually I try to pull him separately. Sometimes it's a shit show. The spirit barb, you should only summon this in the corner. Uh, the spirit barb could have pulled Mephisto here. Downside, doing this with a fairy druid is um, he smacks several enemies with fairy and one hit hits Mephisto. So we will see how that goes. Usually the corner here is enough to pull him. First one down. You can pull them separately also. Uh, most of the time not that necessary. The spirits are annoying. If they hit you, your mana is gone. You know what? I'm gonna get this Thunder Charm. I'm gonna get this Thunder Charm and then I'm gonna revive my Mercenary. I mean, the worst of the three is down though.
Merc says bye bye here. What does he? Yeah. <laughs> what happened there, dude? What's the hit rating against him? Seventy percent. Check out the torch, man. Yeah, I mean, it's not a, it's not a smiter, it's not a kick assassin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I would not recommend this on a budget setup, even though it's more than possible. Um, a up rip cracker would do here. <laughs> Hello. Hey, it's a bob torch, a low bob bob torch, perfect for. Let it reset uh, Hawker Barb. You could probably trade a Barb Touch like this for a pull rune. An <laughs> um rune at most. Well, GG. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, you can show the setup again real quick. Using Dracuis. Uh, Breath of the Dying. The new helm. I'm already too lazy to get the uh, bear mark. <laughs> Don't even bother. Uh, Chains of Honor for resist. And um, plus kiss. Also, like physical resistance 8%. Idolats. Wisp. T Gods. Ravenfrost. Um, Gorada. Of course, ETA in Spirit. Mm. Well, uh, my torch. It's my torch. Any. Bunch of skiller. Home break. I'm I'm always too scared to play with this uh, this uh, Thunder Charm. But for the shapeshift druid, you don't feel a difference. Like you were tanky anyways, like especially on the Fury Druid. This build has a hundred percent life leech uh, with buff with fairy rage up uh, without Rakuis or anything. A hundred percent life leech. It's the only build in the game that can achieve this. So yeah, bomb break is GG on this build. Mm, for the skill tree, I will respect this and will not use those two points. But yeah, if you wanted to proc the helm and the bear buff, you need to go into bear form and hit something with a bear skill. Therefore, two points here. Other than that, max out the two uh, wolf shapeshift thingies. Um, one point fairy rage, one point rabies, I max out fairy. And then I have a remaining points into Fairy Rage. This will be eventually maxed out. But yeah, at the beginning I have only a few, not, not just one, I have a few points in here, okay? Just get the run walk up. Um, nothing into elemental skills. You could cast spells in the form, but it's useless. Um, for, for what? Um, you've seen it. Uh, summoning skills. I'm too lazy to buff and pre-buff and cast, so I don't bother with the summons. Instead I max out Heart of the Wolverine for even more damage and attack rating. 
Mm, the Merc was wearing during these runs. Ariat. And the Theory of Fortitude. Um, Last Wish. And uh, Phoenix for Redemption Aura. Yeah. He's a, he's a frenzy buff. <laughs> the damage. Mm, like, I almost go crazy with this build, okay? My stash looks ridiculous, but there's like five different setups for the Fury Druid in here right now. I think the most damage I've seen was 18k. Uh, with 42 and stuff. I mean, the build is nuts. For players 1, badly, I could not show you every setup I wanted to. Uh, because I messed up while distributing the stat points a little bit. Like, Breath of the Dying gives like 20 or 30 to all attributes. So, yeah. You could, could run Atmos for amp damage proc. You could run Atmos with Fortitude. Like, crazy setups. Yeah. But it's GG. One of my all time favorites in the game. With that being said, thanks for watching and have a nice day, guys. Later.